an entitled Karen goes nuts and attacks me over a children's toy. Things got so bad that the police had to show up and eventually this entitled Karen got arrested. Here's what happened. First, a bit of backstory. I have a five-year-old girl that is best friends with my neighbor's daughter who has special needs. The two of them are inseparable. My wife had bought our daughter a toy a few weeks ago as a reward for doing all her chores as well as being awarded as student of the week in her kindergarten class. She immediately took it over to the neighbor's house and the two girls love to play with it. It's one of those toys that comes with accessories, slime, stickers, stuff like that. Well, since then, this particular toy has been featured on a very popular morning talk show and is now pretty hard to find. My daughter's friend's birthday is the day after Thanksgiving and she asked if we could buy her friend the same toy as her gift. We couldn't say no to her request for her best friend, so we started looking online to see if we could find one. After a few days of no luck, one of the very popular stores had some in stock at a store about 30 minutes away. I hit the road to try and get my hands on one before they were all gone. And this is where everything went down, and I honestly still can't believe that it happened. I got to the store, grabbed a shopping cart, because I was going to grab a couple other things while I was there, and walked straight to the toy department. I looked around for a few minutes before I finally saw the toy I was after, and lo and behold, there was only one left. So I grabbed it and I put it in my cart. I was so glad I finally found one. I started to walk away to continue shopping when I heard a voice behind me say, Um, excuse me, but that toy was mine. I put it down and was coming right back for it. Do you mind? I replied to them by apologizing. I then said, I've been looking for this toy as a gift for a very special little girl, and it was just sitting on the shelf, so I'm sorry, but no, I'm going to buy it. This entitled Karen instantly shot daggers at me with her eyes and said, Excuse me? I was here first, and I need it more than you. I have a customer that ordered it, and I need it now, so please, hand it over. And that's when it struck me. She is nothing more than a reseller and had promised something that she didn't have. At that point, I told this lady, sorry, but that's not my problem. But maybe they have some more in the back. You should ask someone who works here. And after that, I went on my way to finish my shopping. As I was walking away, she said, you're a real jerk, you know that? But I sarcastically responded and said, maybe, but I got what I came here for. Have an awesome day. And I just walked away. I made my way to the laundry detergent aisle and quickly forgot about the woman. A few minutes later, as I grabbed some detergent and dryer sheets, I stopped to check what else was on my list. The same woman entered the aisle and quickly said, there you are. Listen, I asked an employee and they said that there aren't any in the back and they don't know when more are coming in. I would appreciate it if you would do the right thing and just give it back to me before I find a manager and tell them that you took it out of my hands. I quickly responded by saying, what are you talking about? This toy was on the shelf and nobody else was around when I picked it up. So please leave me alone. You can't have it and that's it. I tried to walk away out of the aisle, but that's when this entitled Karen went crazy. She stepped in front of my cart, reached into my cart, and tried to take the toy. So I quickly pulled the cart back and said what is your problem lady? Get away from me. She then tried again but this time I put my hands on the toy before she could grab it. She then dug her nasty nails into my arm before I smacked her arm away with a loud lady get away from me. And this is when the entitled Karen went into overdrive. She instantly started screaming for help at the top of her lungs. Naturally, a bunch of people quickly came over to see what was going on and there I was. A six foot three man with tattoos and a shaved head and a beard standing there as she threw herself onto the floor. Yes, she actually threw herself on the floor, screaming for help. I thought to myself, this is going to end badly for me. Two employees who were a couple aisles over came running. Now there were a few people and the employees looking at this Karen on the ground, pleading for help and screaming for someone to call the police. The employee asked what happened while helping her up from the floor, and she immediately lied and said that I attacked her and took her items from her cart. I quickly stated that this crazy lady is lying and that she attacked me and then threw herself on the floor to try and get me in trouble. A manager shows up and asks what happened, while the Karen is standing there with crocodile tears, saying I assaulted her over the toy. I quickly denied the false accusation and demanded the police be called. The manager had the police called and I waited right there. The lady had a crowd of people around her, all of them consoling and looking at me like I'm some sort of woman beater. All the while, she is telling everyone around her what a monster I am and that she intends to press full charges against me for assault. After about 10 to 15 minutes, two police officers show up and start to ask questions about what happened. So I explained what happened from the beginning all the way to the end and she told her twisted fairy tale. The officers 
then asked to look at the security cameras. So we were escorted to the manager's office, and while one of the officers reviewed the footage with the manager, the other officers asked for our IDs and stepped out of the office, most likely to check for any warrants. After a couple of minutes of the officer reviewing the camera footage and her continuing to lie about what actually happened, this officer asked the entitled Karen, Ma'am, I'm only going to ask you this once. Would you like to change your story about what happened? And at this point, I instantly smiled from ear to ear. What are you talking about? He attacked me and I want him arrested. The officer responded, Ma'am, that's not happening. He then turned to me and asked if I wanted to press charges for assault. And my answer was, Oh, absolutely. The Karen went pale as a ghost. She went on a tirade. Just then, the second officer came back into our office, handed me back my ID, whispered something to the other officer, and then asked the entitled Karen to stand up and put her hands behind her back and arrested her for an outstanding felony warrant along with assault charges. The manager apologized to me for all the trouble as the entitled Karen was let out of the office in cuffs. The officer photographed the scratches on my arm for evidence, gave me a copy of the report for court, and wished me a nice rest of the day. The manager even gave me a $50 gift card that I used to pay for my entire purchase, and I went on my merry way. All of this over a toy and some self-entitlement. You know you've got some serious issues when you attack somebody over a children's toy. This man's literally just trying to get a gift for his daughter's friend, and this lady flies off the handle and attacks him. And this isn't the first time that she's done it, apparently. Fantastic outcome, in my opinion, and it's so cool that he got a gift card that basically paid for everything. My girlfriend constantly says that she is going to cheat on me, and she tries to pass this off as some kind of joke, and at this point, I just don't know what to do about this. After a month of me and my girlfriend dating, I told her about my parents' relationship and about how my dad cheated on my mom. Ever since then, she'll constantly bring up cheating and always say, I don't know, maybe you're gonna cheat on me. Or she'll say something like, what if I cheat on you? When I confront her about saying this, she tells me that it's just a joke and that apparently it's supposed to be funny. But I don't think anything about cheating or even implying that she's going to cheat is in any way, shape, or form funny or a joke. All it does is just cause problems in our relationship and insecurity for no reason. The last time I confronted her about it, she completely dismissed me. She said, I can't believe you would think I'm this type of person. I just joke about it, but I would never be the type of person to actually do it. You don't trust me at all. To me, this makes no sense. It sounds like she is trying to defend herself with whatever came up in her mind at the time. Because if you weren't that type of person, why would you even mention cheating all the time? What is the point other than just trying to make me feel insecure or somehow feel jealous in some way? I mean, if your significant other constantly told you that they were going to cheat on you, eventually it'll get into your head and it will always be at the back of your mind. Another thing I don't understand is why she doesn't understand where I'm coming from. Because even her biological dad cheated on her mom, which is the reason her parents got a divorce in the first place. I thought she, out of everyone, would be able to empathize with me. I'm honestly at the point where I'm just so lost in this situation, and I truly don't know what to do. Your girlfriend in this situation sounds incredibly toxic. I mean, it sounds like she's almost intentionally poking the bear, like she's figuring out this one thing that you don't like, and she just keeps saying it over and over again, probably just to try and get a rise out of you. And if that's the case, then that's just terrible. You've made it very clear that this is triggering for you and you don't like it, and that when she says this, it only makes you feel insecure and causes problems in your relationship. And I find it so hilarious that even when you try to confront her about this, she's still deflected, basically trying to make it sound like you're the one at fault here by claiming that you don't trust her, when in reality, she's the one that keeps saying she's going to cheat on you. Like, how is this your fault? So I would definitely take a good hard look at this relationship, because there is no way this is appropriate in any way, shape, or form. She is playing with your emotions as some kind of toy, just to try and get a reaction out of you. And in my opinion, that's a big red flag. My girlfriend's mental health issues are causing some serious problems in our relationship, and I honestly don't know what to do. So me and my girlfriend have been dating for around nine months. We get along really well, but her mental health issues cause serious problems in our relationship. As a child, she was physically and mentally abused by her father, and she was also cheated on by her first boyfriend two years ago. This landed her in the hospital a week later due to her mental health issues going on. A few years have passed, but she has developed many mental health issues as a result. She has severe anger issues, PTSD, anxiety, and depression. I really feel for her and try my best to help and understand her, but these things cause severe problems in our relationship. She loses her temper quickly when we're 
were having arguments and has yelled and screamed at me often. She also feels like she's misunderstood and that she's not heard even when I'm practically understanding her. She is also insecure due to the fact that she got cheated on and as a result, she now has irrational fears. She sometimes thinks that I'm going to leave her for someone else if I don't send a good morning text or something like that. She was much more remorseful of these things at the beginning of the relationship, but now it's like she finds things to be mad at about me or upset with me about so that we're equal in terms of who has caused issues in the relationship. There have even been times when I'm literally trying to talk to her about an issue and it feels like she's arguing with herself and escalating the situation for herself because she isn't listening to me. Every other day, there's something big or small that she is upset about with me. The other day, we were both having family issues. So due to that, I was not as available to support her when she was upset. I was not on my phone that much and I told her that I'm not in the best mood, so I want to just lay in bed and not be on my phone. I asked her if she was upset with me and she said no. Later on, she calls me and I declined, saying that I am talking to my sister and that I'll call her back. When I called her back, she declined and texted me asking if I need something from her. I said that she called me and she replied that she does not want to talk to me about anything. This was kind of frustrating at the moment, especially because I was also dealing with family problems. But I texted her back and I said, what did I even do right now? And she started saying stuff like, oh, this is what I was afraid of. This is why I didn't want to say anything. I kept asking her what I am doing right now because I was so confused. And she just told me how I don't even care that she was upset and that I'm only worried about the fact that I'm having a bad day and that I'm too busy being upset and defensive, even though I was just asking her what I was doing. I just wanted to know what was wrong. I said that I don't like that she's saying that because I consider those things as comments about my character, implying that I only care about myself, which is not true. She told me that I'm taking it so personally and I don't even understand what she's saying. A few minutes later, she kind of lost it and started going off on me in all caps. I was confused but getting angry because I felt that it was unfair what was happening. She kind of has convinced herself that if she loses it now, it is because I push her to her limit and don't respect her trying to leave the conversation. Essentially, what she wants is that when we're having an argument and she says that she wants to leave, she wants me to literally drop everything and not even send another text after that. I said that sometimes what I need in a conversation is to get what I'm saying off my chest. So I would prefer if I can just text her what I'm saying and I told her that she can leave. She does not have to even read it in the moment, but she said that it is selfish of me to say that when I know she has anger issues and that she can't not check her phone if I text it. I just don't feel like my needs matter as much as hers at times and I don't know what to do with all of this. I really do love her and want to be with her, but these things cause a lot of issues in our relationship. I know I am not perfect. I make mistakes too, but there is a lot that comes with her and she kind of also tries to equal out the damage that's being done to this relationship by admitting to her mistakes, but also assigning me the blame or projecting things that she's done onto me just so she can try and make herself feel better about the fact that we're having problems. What should I do? Your girlfriend definitely sounds like an emotional mess. And in my opinion, she's being very immature. Like you can't even text her after she's like, oh, I want you to drop it. Like she literally just wants to try and get the last word so that you can't say anything to continue the argument. When in reality, two functioning adults really should be able to talk openly and honestly and get things off their chest. Why are her needs so much more important than yours? Because that's exactly how she's acting. I totally understand that she's got anger issues, PTSD, anxiety, depression, but that is her responsibility to manage. And mistreating you is not managing those symptoms. I'm honestly surprised that the original poster didn't mention that this person is in therapy or anything like that. Because if they're not, they definitely need it. Because this is exactly what not to do in a relationship. She's not managing her own symptoms. She's not doing anything to try and alleviate how she feels. It seems like she's taking no steps to try and better herself. And if I was in that relationship, I would be miserable too. It seems like the original poster is walking around on eggshells. Her mental health struggles and traumatic past doesn't excuse her failings as a partner, as well as her terrible garbage behavior. At the end of the day, the original poster is their boyfriend, not their therapist. And based on what I'm hearing, I think therapy could be a very good option for her if this relationship ever wants to continue. My husband makes small arguments and complains a lot about things I do, all while right in front of my friends. And it's making me very uncomfortable, and I don't know what to do. I recently got married, and we've been together for three years, and just recently moved together to a new city for his job and my school. I love my partner a lot, but I feel a little embarrassed when I bring him around my friends, because he can start small, weird arguments just to try and make fun of me 
which to me can feel like he's complaining about me. He tends to argue about small things, whereas I'm a very go with the flow type of person and I'm open to other viewpoints. For example, we were in the car with my best friend and her boyfriend the other day. Her boyfriend asked me how to get back to our house and so I told him. My husband then started arguing and saying that wasn't the correct way. I kind of shrugged and I was like, okay, whatever. And I tell him that I just go this way because that's how maps takes me. But he kept arguing about it. My friend and her boyfriend looked at each other and said something like, oops, sorry, we didn't mean to open up a can of worms. Later that night, my best friend asked me if everything was okay between us. And to be honest, I feel like my husband normally does this only with me though. Another example is tonight. We met up with a couple of friends from my school and this was his first time meeting them. Apparently the first thing my husband asked when they were alone was if they get stressed out because of school. And then the next thing he told them was that I get very stressed. He then shared a couple of times he felt I was stressed out because of my schoolwork. I felt this isn't the case, but regardless, I felt embarrassed and he still shared this with them. Later, my friends asked me how we met and we were telling them exactly how it went down and every detail I said, he kept arguing and saying that it wasn't correct. My friends also responded to my previous friends by basically apologizing for accidentally starting an argument and then they joked about how it seemed like we had been married for years. I felt so embarrassed that a heartfelt story about how we met turned into something a little awkward, especially since we just got married recently. So I still feel like we're in the honeymoon phase and excited about our relationship. It felt so strange that he was correcting me, especially in an almost annoyed or aggressive way. Does anyone have any thoughts why he might be acting like this? How can I bring this up or is there a way I can better handle the situation? For me, I just try to smile and laugh it off when it happens, but sometimes that just doesn't seem like enough. What should I do? The way your husband's acting is really inappropriate. The fact that he's putting you down in front of your friends and intentionally sharing embarrassing stories just so he could try and humiliate you is really disgusting in my opinion. And that is not just something you should laugh off and smile about. You have every right to be upset over that. Here you are trying to invite him into your friend group and introduce him to people that you care about. And instead of being cordial and approachable, he decides to humiliate you and talk down to you. And that's just really unfair. He's supposed to be your husband, your partner. I wonder if this happened previously in the relationship and maybe there were just red flags that got missed in the beginning. But regardless, I think it's time to put your foot down and stand up for yourself. You need to pull him aside and say, hey, I don't like the way you talk about me to my friends. It makes me feel bad and it really hurts my feelings. Something along those lines to let him know that this is not appropriate behavior. Because I think it's safe to assume that you would never do that to him. You would never go to his friends and put him down in front of his friends. So hopefully this conversation works out in a good way for you. Because this is a really weird way for your husband to be treating you. And you do not deserve to be treated this way. My wife and I broke up for a year and a half and I dated someone else and now she is currently pregnant. Now my wife is furious and I don't know how to fix the situation. So my wife and I have been together since high school. We were each other's first everything. First boyfriend, first girlfriend, first kiss, everything. We married when we were 19 years old and now we're in our 30s. And five months later, after we got married, we became parents to a beautiful baby girl. And after all these years, we've had four more kids. In 2021, we hit a rough patch in our relationship. We are arguing like cats and dogs. And we went out of each other's way just to hurt each other. Then one day after just constant arguing, I hit her with the words, I want a divorce. And she burst into tears. She ran into the room and wouldn't let me in. And I just left. A week later, we told the kids that we are getting a divorce. I stayed with my parents for a while and our divorce process began. During our divorce process, I began dating a new woman. We'll call her Sarah. That's not her real name. Sarah was amazing. She was nice, beautiful, a successful female woman who owned her own business. Over the year we dated, me and her were happy together and even had plans to move in together. At about a year together, we broke up and ended things amicably. Around this time, my divorce was still dragging on and at my son's basketball game, my wife and I talked civilly for the first time in a while. We then began spending more and more time together and then I started spending the night at my old house. And eventually, me and my wife would spend more quality time together. After that and the subsequent more nights together, we decided to continue our marriage and called off the divorce. We told the kids and they were excited. My wife and I, when we got back together, told each other everything. I told her about Sarah and she told me about her relationship and then we closed off that chapter and said that now it was just me and her. Soon after, my wife told me that she was pregnant with our sixth child and I was over the moon excited. But things are not as it seems. Fast forward to about five days ago, Sarah has contacted me out of the blue and said that she wanted to see me. So I told her 
her that I couldn't do that because my wife and I were together again so we could never be a couple again. She then requested that we meet in a public space and I agreed. I arrived at our destination first and when she got there she saw me and the first thing I saw was a giant belly. She hugged me and wasted no time and told me she's eight and a half months pregnant and she is due in early to mid October and that apparently it's mine. I didn't believe her until I did the math and the kid was conceived when me and her were still together and I told her that I will get a DNA test and if it is mine I will be a part of its life no matter what. So I left our meeting place and I went home and immediately told my wife. I told her that Sarah was pregnant and there was a giant chance her child is mine and as you could imagine we got into another argument. I then immediately told her that no matter what if that child is mine I will take care of it. She then left the house distraught and just came back today and hasn't spoken to me since. I feel so horrible because I hurt her in an unimaginable way. What should I do? It sounds like this original poster really needs to get their act together. If I were your wife in this situation, I would be furious. You got another woman pregnant right when you two decided to get back together. And you got her pregnant as well. Talk about messing things up for yourself. You would think after five kids, the original poster would take the steps necessary to prevent another woman getting pregnant. I mean, how irresponsible can you possibly be? You already have, what, five kids? And now your actual wife is going to have a sixth kid and now a seventh one when it comes to Sarah. I think regardless of what happens, you better be ready to take care of all these kids because it sounds like this is a self-inflicted problem and at this point you just gotta step up and do the right thing and take care of those kids as best you can thanks for watching when you subscribe make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications to finish listening to all the stories use the playlist at the top of the description and the next time you live stream use the cream of the crop music search cream of the stream on spotify or whatever platform you use for copyright free music to use for your next stream